Lab-grown diamonds, also known as lab-created diamonds, have been part of the engagement ring world for over a decade now, but have been rising in popularity of late for several reasons. In this video, we're going to break down several reasons why you should consider a lab-grown diamond as a center stone for your engagement ring. Let's get started. Creation. Lab-grown diamonds are produced in a laboratory under conditions meant to mirror how natural diamonds are formed. Carbon atoms are exposed to high pressure and high temperature. For this reason, they are eco-friendly and ethically sourced. Just as a side note, everyone should know that all natural diamonds are also now subject to the Kimberley process to ensure their sourcing method. The rough diamond created in the lab is then polished and faceted in the same way a natural diamond would be. A lab diamond is in fact a real diamond, and a great analogy to compare it to is a natural diamond and a lab diamond is thinking of ice that is created in a freezer and natural diamond as ice that is created outside from cold weather and snow. Price. The creation process is also much faster than that of a natural diamond, it's weeks versus billions of years, and in effect less costly to produce at scale. Also, many of the associated costs with mining a natural diamond from the earth are removed. Here we have a comparison of a natural versus lab-grown diamond in both round and cushion. Natural, lab, natural, lab. Recently, diverging factors have also led to a wider gap between the prices of these two stones. The technology for creating lab-grown diamonds has improved, and on the other hand, natural diamonds have rapidly increased in price as supply constraints and inflation have caused disruptions within the industry. There is now a wide enough gap between the price of a lab-grown and natural diamond to make it an extremely attractive alternative from a price perspective. What used to be a 20% difference has now ballooned to about 70 to 80% difference. For example here, this two carat natural diamond would cost around 25,000 for an F color VS2 clarity. While this two carat lab grown diamond would cost about 6,500 to 7,500 retail for the same size and quality. And in the same comparison here, we have with the cushions, we have a three carat Carlos VS natural diamond, which would go for close to 40,000. While this Carlos VS lab grown diamond that also weighs three carats would be closer to $10,000. So you can see right there that it is a huge price difference and makes it very extremely attractive to the consumer. Some are concerned that the price of lab created diamonds will continue to fall, but we feel now is a good time to purchase a lab grown diamond as prices seem to have stabilized. There are fixed costs associated with creating the stone that cannot go lower, such as factory and energy expenses, cutting, polishing, distribution, and certification. Appearance and durability. In the blue plunger, on my right side is a lab grown diamond and in the left side is a natural diamond. Now let's talk about both of them. Because lab grown diamonds have the same chemical makeup as natural diamonds, they possess the same physical properties that make natural diamonds so sought after. When polished into a finished diamond, they will have the same refractive index and sparkle as a natural diamond as shown here, which makes them impossible to differentiate with the naked eye. The only way to tell the difference between these two stones is to put the lab grown under a highly expensive testing machine which will differentiate between it being created in a lab and created from the earth. To add to that, they also have the same durability, both ranking at a perfect 10 on the mole scale, meaning that they are the hardest mineral on earth and very unsusceptible to breaking or chipping so they can be worn every day as an engagement ring and cherished for a lifetime. Quality. In my hand I have two lab grown diamond pear shapes weighing about 2.7 carats, for example purposes. During the growth process, use of color and inclusions can be introduced into a lab-grown diamond, just as a natural diamond. Because this is a controlled environment, they're able to more easily produce higher quality stones, so there's less of a premium to pay for the consumer. But just to show you the difference here, on this hand, I have a D-color lab-grown diamond, and here I have a G-color lab-grown diamond. So just as with natural diamonds, there are different shades that they come in. And you can see the difference with the naked eye when going from D to G, which is a four grade jump. Now, just to bring in the GIA chart here, you can opt for a colorless or near colorless diamond without breaking the bank when it comes to lab grown diamonds. The most popular color and clarity combination is D to F color and VS1 or VS2 clarity. As with natural diamonds, it's important to obtain a GIA report with your diamond. At Lauren B, we focus on GIA graded lab grown diamonds since this is the most reputable laboratory in the world and they will give you the most accurate grading for the color and the clarity. If GIA says it's a D color, 
it's going to be completely colorless, while other laboratories might grade stones as DERF, but they might have a slight tint to them because it really looks like an H or I color in real life. Because natural diamonds are so costly to produce, the diamond cutter's main objective is to preserve as much of the rough diamond as possible. This can often force them to polish a stone that is poorly cut in order to maintain a certain carat weight. On the other hand, like these lab-grown diamonds shown here, there is no concern about losing rough diamond weight, and they will cut the stone to maximize brilliance and the face-up dimensions of the stone. For example, this is a 2.65 carat radian cut lab-grown diamond, and it has amazing measurements of 9.9 .9 by 7 millimeters. This is usually measurements that you would only find in a 3 or 3.3 .3 carat natural radian cut diamond. So you're in effect getting something that looks bigger than it is and it's already less expensive because it is lab grown. On the other hand, I have another stone that is also extremely well cut, which is what our inventory focuses on. This is a 1.84 carat oval lab grown diamond that has a length of 10.4 millimeters by 6.9 wide. Again, this is only 1.8 carats, but it looks like a diamond that would be almost two and a half to 2.2 carats in size. For this reason, you will be able to get a perfectly cut stone in any shape that has larger than average face-up dimensions and a beautiful faceting pattern. Size, this might be the most appealing to many as you can scale up the size of your lab-grown diamond and still keep it within a reasonable price point. For example, here I have a one carat round diamond colorless VS Clarity that would retail for around $8,000 to $10,000. And on the, this side, I have a lab-grown diamond of equal quality that weighs 2.3 carats and will be priced the same as this one. So this makes it a very tough decision for someone when you look at this big difference in size that you can get from going from lab to natural. Now, if your budget allows, you can go for bigger stones and pay a much less premium than you would for a natural. Again, we have a natural diamond here on, the, on this side, which is an F-color VS1 stone that cost about $70,000. And here, we have a four carat lab-grown emerald cut diamond of similar quality, colorless and VS, that will be only 16,500. Again, you can do the math, it's about 80% less in price. You're getting the same exact look, the same sparkle, same quality, and the same beauty in a finished ring. Engage rings. Because you're saving so much on the center stone without sacrificing any of its visual beauty, you can allot more of your budget towards a beautiful custom setting like these shown here from Lauren B. Check out this new collection of lab-grown diamond rings that we are going to release featuring 1.5 to 1.8 carat lab-grown center diamonds. And I'll just take a couple here just to show you quickly up close that you can really not see the difference that it's a lab-grown. Looks just as beautiful as a natural diamond finished in a ring. I'm going to take another ring here. This is actually a pear-shaped side stones that are also lab-grown as, well, as well as the center stone. And that the center stone here is about 1.5 carats, invisible gallery design. And check that one out and we'll grab another one we're going to have about 20 of these rings in stock for you to view in a very short while and here's the hidden halo design with a pear-shaped center again beautifully cut stone same beauty as a natural diamond and the lab grown really just shines just as well and the setting is not compromised at all so definitely something to consider a lab grown center diamond a beautiful setting like this and you really have a great combination we can start with one and a half carats around these sides. The finished ring will cost you about six to seven thousand, and then you can go up from there. So that wraps up our segment on lab grown diamonds and why you should consider it as a center stone for your engagement ring. You can schedule an appointment to view them in store, or you can head to our website, check out our loose diamond inventory with over 200 stones, and also be on the lookout for our new collection of finished engagement rings coming soon. Thank you and tune in next time.